Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In business statistics, let us discuss about the introduction. Statistics is a branch of mathematics dealing with the collection, analysis, interpretation, and presentation and organization of data. Now, business statistics. Business statistics is the science of good decision making in the face of uncertainty and is used in many dis disciplines such as financial analysis, econometrics, auditing, production and operations. In general, statistics is the science of counting averages social organism regarded as a whole in all its manifestation. Statistics is a method of judging collective, natural or social phenomena. By highlighting above definitions that a single figure is not a statistics. Suppose you are considering a national income of a country for one year is not comes in statistics because there is no comparison with others. Means so we have to take the information about national income of some more years means more than one years then we can compare the national income of each year means compare you of comparative of national income of, of present year compared with last year and precast the national income in future years we can do so a single figure does not come in statistics so we need collection of figures S statistics are affected by number of factors as price quality competition the income of consumers etc for example in production company they are producing some food so the its price and quality and competition with other food company is is affected the production of that company means if price is more then uh, price is more means that selling may be less uh, if if you improve quality the people can get more food from that particular companies also the competition is very important to the production company so we have to consider all factors to compete with others so these are affecting the statistics of the particular production of the items in statistics data must be collected in systematic manner with predetermined purpose suppose we are uh, collecting a data from a crowd so whoever like the food items particularly we are showing three or uh, four items which they prefer more than other so we have to take collection of data and compare with some predetermined purpose data is facts or figures from which conclusion can be drawn statistical data or basic raw material of statistics or problem situation under study now let us discuss about classification of data here data is broadly classified in two first one quantitative data the second one qualitative data under quantity quantitative data those data that can be quantified in definite units of measurements for example marks in subjects price of commodities wages of workers etc in qualitative data it refers to quality characteristics of a subject or an object for example cleverness of students beauty of an object etc in quantitative data are further divide first one continuous data continuous data have the numerical values of continuous variable 
that is any value we can assume between any two points on a line segment for example length weight thickness and velocity etc and second one discrete data discrete data are the values assumed by a discrete variables for example number of customers visiting the showroom per day or number of incoming calls per hour etc in qualitative data there are two types nominal data or outcome of classification into two or more categories of items or units comprising a sample or a population according to some quality characteristics for example classification of students according to sex male or female next one workers according to skills as skilled semi-skilled and unskilled like second one rank data rank data are the result of assigning ranks to specify order in terms of integers like one two three up to n rank may be assigned according to the level of performance in a test or contest etc now let us discuss data sources data sources have two types primary data those data which do not already exist in any form and thus have to be collected for the first time from the primary sources secondary data they already exist in some form they are generally available in published sources.